and welcome back at Physics for Dummies! Yes, Jana? What is the Doppler effect? Well, that's a bloody dummy question! Excellent! Jana, I'll explain that to you. For this, all I need is the handbook you've got, a software measure which is already on my computer, my Doppler source, and my spring. I just attached the spring to my Doppler source and turned this one off. You'll see directly here the peak, which is the sound wave I'm doing. Here again, I'm working with the 19 kilohertz so that we don't hear anything, but we are doing some. Start making moving my source. We'll have the distance between my source and the mic um, microphone changing, which means that the level of sound is going to be higher or lower. Next to the level of sound, you will notice a movement from left to right of my wave. This movement is the changing in the frequency which we talked about before. What does that mean? That means that, sorry, um, every time my source is changing, it is compressing the wave and expanding it again. Compressing, expanding. We saw before, compressing a wave, you hide the frequency, expanding, you lower it. Which means that going down, compressing, my wave will move to the right. Going up, expanding, it will move to the left. And that's the Doppler effect. Do you have any more questions, Jana? No, I just want to see it again, please. <laughs> With pleasure. You turn it on. And you just start moving it with your spring. Do you see it? It's doing a circle going up and down, left and right. Do you Great. understand it now? Thank you. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. See you next time.